be a B-I-T-C-H Cause that's what you gon' call me when I'm trippin' anyway You know you can't control me, baby You need a real one in your life You bitches ain't gon' give it to you, right? I'd rather be a B-I-T-C-H Cause that's what you gon' call me when I'm trippin' anyway You know you can't control me, baby So right here, I'm just gonna put my hair into a ponytail Um, so it can lay flat under the wig <laughs> I'm going to go ahead on and put my cap on. This is just a regular nude wig cap. I'm going to cut the ends right here. Just so it can be more comfortable as I'm trying to tuck it down to my head. I'm going to do the ball cap method. I normally don't do the ball cap method, but I am going to do it since I have all colored hair. And right here, I'm just blow drying the got to be glued spray to get that ball cap effect on the hairline blow dry it until it's completely dry so the ends won't roll up once you cut the cap So right here, I'm going to cut the excess cap, that extra cap that's hanging on that I did not spray with the Gatsby glue to give it a ball cap effect. You want to be careful while cutting this because you don't want to cut yourself and you also don't want to cut off too much cap to where you can see the hair. I kind of did um, in the, on that side, but you can't really tell that much. So yeah, just be careful guys. So I'm going to take my Black Radiance True Match palette and I'm going to use two of the brown shades and mix it and put it on the cap um, just to give it a ball cap illusion. Now this isn't my best ball cap but I just wanted to get this video done and just get it as good as possible to where the wig could look decent on camera. <laughs> So right here, I'm just getting the wig on my head and placing it where I want the part to be. As you can see, I'm just making sure that I have it placed right so you can't see my ball cap underneath. And right here, I'm just giving you guys a glimpse of the part and the hairline. So right here, I'm going to clip the hair back and then I'm going to cut the excess lace off by my ears to get the wig to fit around my hairline perfectly. You want to try to cut as careful as possible so you won't cut 
any extra hair and you want to try to use some small scissors. <laughs> So to lay the wig, I'm just going to use my got to be glue spray because I'm not going to use any wig glue for this wig because I won't have this wig on for too long. So I'm just going to use my got to be glue spray for the time being. <laughs> to make sure you have the wig laid down right and you are spraying enough spray to where the hairline is tacked down and the wig won't lift <laughs> right here i'm just cutting the lace and i'm just going to cut the lace with my scissors i'm starting with scissors but i'm eventually going to use my razor because i like the effect that i get when i cut my lace with my razor it's just not straight across and the um, hairline looks a little bit natural even if you do wiggle the scissors the razor is just a lot better and quicker Now I'm going to go back over the hairline with my got to be glue spray um, just to make it blend in a little bit more.
I'm giving you scalp realness. So right here, I'm going back over it with my face powder just to blend the lace a little bit better before I lay my baby hairs. So you guys know it wouldn't be right unless we had baby hairs with colored hair. So I'm going to lay some baby hairs with my got to be glue gel i do use mousse sometimes but today i reached for the closest thing that was near me which was my got to be glue gel the white gel So I'm going to continue to lay my baby hairs on this side. I'm going to do the other side off camera and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what I did after I laid my baby hairs. <laughs> So this is something extra that you don't have to do, but I wanted to do to clean my part up. So I took a palette that I have that was similar to the hair color that I did. Now on this side, you're going to see that I use a brighter orange, but I am going to go back and fix it. So don't worry about that, guys. But yeah, I'm just going to clean the part up to make it a little bit neater. And yeah.
So right here, I'm recurling my hair to refresh the curls at the top um, because the curls did fall from when I curled it last night. So I'm just going to go in and curl it with my, I think this is my one inch curling iron by Babyliss, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I got it from Amazon for about $40 and I'm just going to pin the curls while they're hot so the curl can stay. And then I'm going to comb it down with a rake comb after I'm done curling all the curls. Also, I like to curl away from the face. So now I'm done. I'm all dolled up. So now I'm going to just comb out the curls and this is going to be the finishing touches and this is how I style the hair. I'm going to spray the comb with some holding spray just so the curls can form a little bit better.
I'm now going to go in and cut a little bit of layers so the hair can fall like I want it to fall in the front. So this is the finished look. I did go back in and curl it a little bit more at the top to make it kind of frame my face a little bit more. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.